Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be solving a retirement problem. Before we start, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It helps me out a lot. It says you plan on retiring in 45 years and wish to save up enough money to withdraw 20,000 per month for 30 years. I'm gonna start building my timeline. So I know that in 45 years, we're going to retire. And after that, we're going to start withdrawing $20,000 every month for a total of 30 years. So 12 times 30, there are going to be 360 withdrawals. So that'll be the last one. This will be the first, the second, the third, and so on. Okay. For the next 45 years, your retirement savings will earn 8% compounded monthly, but then will decrease to 6% compounded monthly after you retire. How much should you save at the end of each month? Okay, great. So we know that for the next 45 years, every month we're going to be saving. So 12 times 45 is 540. Okay, so I know I'm gonna have several contributions all the way till the day I retire here. So that line here becomes the end of the first portion, the savings portion, so the 540th period, but it's also the beginning of the retirement portion. And that's gonna be an important fact as we're solving this question. Now, the way to solve these problems is to work backwards from your retirement. We know that we want to have $20,000 every month for 30 years. That's an ordinary annuity. So I'm gonna solve the present value of the ordinary annuity by taking my payment of 20,000, multiplying it by one minus one plus my rate. Now my rate is 6% compounded monthly. My payments are also monthly. So I'm simply going to divide my rate here by 12 to turn it into an, a monthly rate. I'll put that to the power negative 360. All that over, once again, the rate, 0 0.06 divided by 12. Now, if you're doing this on a financial calculator, your payment would be 20,000. Your end would be 360. Your rate would be 0 0.5, which is 6% divided by 12. There was no future value and you would compute your present value. So whether you're using a formula or a financial calculator, you should end up at the exact same result, which is 3,335,832 dollars and 29 cents. So this tells me the day I retire, there needs to be that much money in the account. Great, so now we have the future value for the first part. So if I go back to the left now, I'll change my color, now I know that I need to get to that future value. So I'll set the future value equal to the payment multiplied by, and I'm using the future value of an ordinary annuity formula, one plus 8% divided by 12 to the power of 540 minus one over 0 0.08 divided by 12. Again, if you're using a financial calculator, you'll set your future value to 3,335,832.29. Your IY is 0 0.666 repeating. That is eight divided by 12. N is 540. There is no present value, compute the payment. And again, whether you're using the formula or a financial calculator, you should get the exact same result, which is $632.44. So you would have to save $632.44 every month for the next 45 years so that you can withdraw $20,000 per month every month for the following 30 years. That shows you the power of compounding. So that's it for the video. I hope that you found it useful. 
If you have any questions, make sure you leave a comment. If you found yourself struggling throughout that video, I'm going to leave a link in the description to my Wise Prep Intro to Finance course. You can take it at your leisure, take it at your own pace, and really learn step-by-step -step all the different formulas I used in this video. You can have access to that as much as you want at a very low cost using Wise Prep's Study Pass. The Study Pass also gives you access to the entire library filled with many, many courses that you might find interesting or useful in your journey. I'll see you at the next video.